Hey there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, thanks for clicking on today's video. In today's video, I put the fireplace on and lit a candle, or two. To be honest, I'm always doing that, I'm such a homebody. I really believe in like nesting for winter. Um, and on a, well, it was very cloudy today, but on a day like today, it's what I love to do. The reason I've done that is because it's a little catch up. I haven't done one of these in ages, like a little life update of like what I'm up to, what I'm doing. And I've had this channel for what, like five years now? It's been a while, maybe even coming up to six years. And every now and then I do a little life update. And so I want to do that now because I haven't done one in a while. So hi. Thanks for sticking with me if you've been here since the start. How, how sweet, what a modern love story, how romantic. Thanks for putting up with me. You can grab a cup of tea, I feel like I usually would have a cuppa with me, but I've actually just had one. I had some toast and eggs for breakfast and I had a cup of tea on top of my cup of coffee. And so that's me done with caffeine for the day. Um, but feel free to grab one just for yourself, you know. A bit rude, but... Um, I'm just kidding. Go grab a cuppa because we're going to be chatting. I've actually written like bullet point headings. <laughs> the audacity of me doing a life <laughs> Sorry, I'm just realising the audacity of me doing a life update with headings for each category as though anybody cares. <laughs> but no, I, I care and it's, this is fun and I love sharing life on here. And I know, I know there must be, I know you guys do because you guys are nice and you share my life with me and I appreciate that. So I'm, I'm showing respect by being intentional about sharing my life. So I'm, yeah, this is good. This is not delusional. This is like an in, how internet friendships work, right? Right? <laughs> Here's what's going on with me, in case you were wondering. Oh God, okay, first heading is living in London. So I've been living in London now for just over a year. So as you guys know, I'm from South Wales, the Valleys. Um, I actually started this channel while I was studying at uni in Birmingham, but South Wales, ah, oh, is home. Love it, miss it. When I first moved to London, you guys, I vlogged when I first moved here and I still can't go back to edit those vlogs because I hated it. I hated life here. I was like, people are so mean, everyone's rude. I was working in a job that I, that is a whole nother story. Um, and I didn't love it. But once I settled, once I got my own place, once I just lent in to London culture, like speed walking through the tube, jumping over children to make that one minute earlier tube than the next one. Once I leaned into that culture, I really started to love it here. And I love it here. Um, I really do love it here. I think the people make the place. By God's grace, I've met such lovely and amazing people. Um, I'm very intentional actually about people these days, even though I'm still um, sorting my life out and that's something I'll talk about in a later bullet point. I do feel that I do try and like pursue people. You know, when you meet someone great and you're like, oh my gosh, you're amazing. Can we be friends? I'm, I'm really quite intentional about not being embarrassed or shy about that and just like asking people out and messaging them and saying hi. So moving to London, I tried to be really intentional about that and I was so blessed to meet like people in all kinds of wonderful ways. Like I met one of my closest friends here in London on a house viewing. I say all that to say, I feel like once I started meeting more people in London, I liked it more. Home is where the heart is and your heart is where the people that you love are. So as I started meeting more people here, I came to love it more and now I really do love it. And I still miss, you know, my close friends in Cardiff. Like during the pandemic, I was so blessed and so lucky to have like a tight knit, group of close friends that I could do life with and walk through that season with and I miss that and I miss them so much so my heart still longs for that season in a way as soppy as that sounds um, and there's an element of wanting to kind of recreate that here but I think in life you do just have to experience and hold everything with an open hand and accept when that thing is moving through and just looking back on it, all I feel is gratitude that it was ever in my hand, that I ever was able to be part of such a close group of friends 
who I could do life with, pray with, read the Bible, get through the pandemic with. I'm so, so grateful. So yeah, sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I just want small group or, you know, connect group. I don't know if any of you are Christian and you're in church. They'll usually have like little groups of people that you kind of meet with weekly. And I haven't quite found that or like set roots within um, a community like that here. I'm in church, I'm going to church, but I'm still trying to find a local uh, group of people that I can just do life with. When I'm telling you it hits different, it hits different. You know, I've, I've always had friends. I haven't actually, there's a period of life where I was definitely bullied, but like I've had friends and friendships are amazing. Friendships are great. I've had Christian friends, Christian friendships are amazing and great, but there is something about an intentional connect group, a small group, when you intentionally meet people once a week you're committed to it you pray you eat together you just do life together oh my gosh it it's just amazing it is such a beautiful thing i think that we are made for community so at the moment that's something that i really want here in london because i had it in cardiff and i miss it so much and even if i went back to cardiff you know people have moved things aren't exactly how they used to be so i'm yearning for something that literally doesn't exist anymore um, but it's nice. It's nice to have those memories and um, it makes me excited for what's to come. I think that I can take things that I've learned and experienced from that season of life in Cardiff into my current and next season of life here in London. So that is something that I really miss about Cardiff and I want to build here is that, that like tight knit community of like intentional, intentional community, especially, oh my gosh, in London. And I can't even complain because it's me too. But like trying to book a time slot with someone to like go for dinner or do something. Oh my goodness. Tell me why it takes an army to find a night where both me and a friend are free. Why is that so hard? It is, it is honestly. So I think that is another reason why I love things like Connect Group because the way we did it in Cardiff, it was like you were definitely there once a week for dinner. And to many people in London, when I like float that idea around, people are like, oh my gosh, yeah, but work, but this, but that. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, of course, everyone's busy. But you've just got to carve time for these things because as you invest in it, the reward is just amazing. That said, I miss nature. I miss effortless nature. I miss looking out of the window and seeing hills. Now, I cannot complain. I've got such an incredible view here, like the skyline on a clear day. It's just gorgeous. It's like top tier London. But oh my gosh, in Wales, when you've just got the trees and the sound of the birds and, and the grass. And here, when I tell people, oh, I miss nature, they're like, oh, have you been to insert name of a park here? And I'm like, these poor Londoners, they think a park? They, you think I mean a park? You think I mean a park? I don't mean a park when I say nature. I mean like silence. I mean like if I get lost, will anyone find me ever? Just kidding. That's a bit extreme. But genuinely, I mean nature. And so I've been quite intentional, actually, about doing road trips here and there, leaving London just to breathe. I went on a little road trip with uh, my friend Joe. I did a whole vlog of this. Went on a road trip with my friend Joe the other day, and it was so lovely and just exactly what I needed. Really lifted my spirit. So I do miss South Wales so, so much. But I feel like for right now, for what I'm doing for life right now, I love being in London. Anyway, I'm rambling on, but I hope, <laughs> I hope that made sense. I'm trying to do this thing where I don't judge too much the videos that I make. I just put them out there and just see if people like them. It's really hard because I'm kind of weird. Anyway, so that's Cardiff. Brings me on to number two, which is my flat. This place, I'm so grateful for. I love it so much. I'm so happy here. Um, I've been decorating, redecorating, furnishing. And at first I was like, oh, I just need to finish decorating. I just need to, you know, be done decorating. But after a year of being here, I realized I'm, I'm accepting that there is no done, okay? It's actually just a, a way of life that I enjoy. I love shopping for homeware buys. I love buying new plants. I love moving things around. I love adding a little sprinkle of this and that. I love making the place feel welcoming and homely and cozy. I love it when everything is clean, when everything's in place, when it's 
effortless when there's everything that a guest needs in my home oh it fills me with joy it makes me so happy and I feel like that is something that's very hard to achieve and so I'm constantly working towards it or tweaking things in getting this place the way I want and so I've let go of the thought of oh I need to finish decorating because I don't I think deep down I don't even I don't think I even want <laughs> to finish decorating I reckon if I had everything that I want in this place right now everything that I, I think that I want to make this place pop if I had that all here installed set up right now I think I'd just change my mind and I would start wanting something else because I enjoy the process. I love decorating, love this flat. I want to do like a flat tour um, when I can. But even stuff like this chair, oh, this chair, the side stools, not gonna lie, do not like the side stools. Got them for a bargain, do not like them. Oh, I didn't blend out my makeup. It's a bit of a severe contour, so I'm just gonna blend really quick. I don't know if that worked or if that just made it worse, but I remember saying to myself, don't forget to blend, Sarah. Don't go out there in these streets of YouTube looking wild. And lo and behold, I did. Anyway, let me get back to the list. This is why I wrote a list, you guys. It's because it's been like 10 minutes already and I've just been waffling on. Next heading we have is acting school. Acting school. Wow, that was bad. I'm in acting school, part-time acting school. I've mentioned this loads of times. I love it. You guys, I love it, but it's so hard. Like, even while I'm saying this, I need to go over my homework for tonight and learn lines for my next class on Wednesday. Like, it's actually so hard. Acting is hard. It's a craft. It's a skill. But I love it. I, I love it. Oh, my gosh. When it goes well, when you've prepped a scene and you've worked on it and it just works and you can see that people are like moved and you feel it and you're in it. Oh, the feeling. It's amazing. I love it. I, it's what I want to do. And things are making progress. You know, I got headshots done. I've had a few auditions for different programs. Um, I've been accepted onto Spotlight, which is like a professional actor's website. Things are moving just in classic Sarah fashion. I want them to move quicker. I just want to make stories, tell stories that move people and that are powerful. Do you want to know why I got into acting, you guys? It's because during the pandemic, it's not even why, I've always wanted to be an actor. I did like two classes when I was a child, but family couldn't afford, we couldn't afford for me to keep doing them. But I remember just loving it. I absolutely loved it. And I said to mum, I want to be an actress, I want to be an actress. But also I've always wanted to be a lot of things. So yeah, there was no, um, that wasn't prioritised. But now that I'm a grown woman, I can do what I want by God's grace. So I'm doing it now. So I've always wanted to be an actor. But one thing that really made me take the leap and apply for acting school was I remember during the pandemic, getting home from a long shift, feeling so, so lonely, finding out my flatmate had COVID and I had to isolate for two weeks. And then for the next two weeks, all I did was, um, and also I say lonely, while I had a flatmate back then during the pandemic, um, she was a nurse, she was always working. So it was genuinely like living alone during the pandemic. Like I found it really tough. But during isolation, I really lent into Netflix. You know, it was like I was on a mission to complete it. I would just watch programs day in, day out. And through these films and series, I would be transported to this other world. And it was amazing. One of the Korean dramas that I watched, I'll have to find the name of it, but it was so good. And it just opened me up to this world of South Korea. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go there. This culture, I, oh my gosh. And I remember hearing on the news that non-essential work is canceled. Non-essential work is canceled. And that meant the arts. And I remember sitting there thinking, but the arts are essential. <laughs> the arts are absolutely essential. What do you mean non-essential work? This is, this is keep, if, I, if I'm essential as a doctor, I need this in order to get up tomorrow and go and do my job. I need that release. I need that escapism. I need that permission to feel you know sometimes we can like go through tough times and we just push it down to carry on push it down to carry on and then we watch something that talks about one of the times that we've just been through and sometimes even just in seeing someone else live our experience it frees us to release to feel less alone 
And so I was just like, dude, I want to be part of that. I want to experience that. I want to help heal people, not just with medicines and surgeries and all of these amazing things that we do in medicine, but I want to do it with stories and with words and with ideas and with that human to human connection. So that's a very long story of why I'm in acting school. <laughs> And I love acting, it's so much fun. It's like therapy as well, you guys. I remember just in my audition, when I first auditioned for this school, it was like a three hour Zoom audition and I loved it. Three hour Zoom audition and love being in the same sentence, you know it's meant to be. I absolutely loved it. And there was this time where the guy who runs the school, he was like, who are you? Who are you? And I was like, oh my God, who am I? Who am I? <laughs> and it sounds so whiffy, waffy and ridiculous, but, it was powerful. There was so much self-reflection in trying to step into the shoes of someone else. You really have to know a lot about who you are. Guys, I could, sorry, that's gone on too long. I could go on forever. I could go on forever. Love acting. So that's that. This is why I wrote a list. It's because I could just talk about myself for ages. Wow. That's an issue. Next we have singing. 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 Wow so bad singing i love it i absolutely love it i feel like not even i feel like during the pandemic i dropped out of band i had been leading worship in my church band and i dropped out because it felt like the right thing to do there's no regrets there but i was it just wasn't mm, i was not coping <laughs> no it just wasn't what i felt i should be doing at that time um and so i kind of went i accidentally went oh no i did that show that bbc show with gareth malone and so there was a lot of singing in that. And then after that, when the cameras went, I went home and I just did not sing for like almost two years. <laughs> and you think I'm joking, I'm serious. I, I really just did not do any singing. But I would, you know, sing along to stuff, but not like proper singing. Now I've sung my whole life. My mum taught me and my sister to sing in homeschool. I've always been in choirs, bands, gigging, writing music. I always sing, it, even if it's not on the YouTube channel or being posted, it is a huge part of my life. So to have gone almost two years without like doing vocal exercises was wild. It would be like me not exercising for two years. I was like, oh, I really wanna join my church band. I really wanna join my church band when I moved to London. And when it came time to audition, I had to choose a song. And you guys, I was trying to sing these songs. I was trying to do a little, huh. And tell me why my huh was more of a ah. <laughs> Honestly, it really, dude, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. I had not, it's like I had tried to do a backflip having not done a stretch in two years. It was, it was so bad. And so I've been over the last seven, eight months, I've been doing vocal exercises regularly and just training my voice again. Um, which has been so much fun because music, singing is such a release. It is such a, oh, it just, the fact that we do it in every culture, I think should really tell us that there's something about who we are as humans that is shared and um, portrayed by music. The music that we can make with our own body as well, I think is like on a whole nother level, like, powerful and beautiful and i just oh i love 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 singing it is such a big release for me i know you're probably watching this thinking sarah you love everything well yeah and i think that's something as well that i've really been leaning into more over the last years that just instead of having to fit into a box just be you sarah it's cool i've always had that slogan on all my social media and I've wanted to take it off so many times, but I really just felt my spirit, no, 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 leave it there. And I think the reason it has to be there is because it's for me. Like, I need to see that, that I need to just be myself. Like, I do love loads of different things with a passion. And that's a good thing. I think it fills me up and it makes me who I am. So yes, when I'm telling you I love acting, yes, I do. When I'm telling you I love singing, yes, I do. When I'm telling you I love home decor, home decor, yeah, I really do love it, but it's not quite, you know. Singing is just amazing. And leaning back into that over the last, few months oh, has been life-giving, especially being back on worship band. So I got into bed, ooh, ooh exciting. Um, and I've been um, doing like backing vocals in my church band, oh, worshiping God, just gives you life, 
fills my heart with peace and joy. Aside from that, I have been... <laughs> I sung at BBC Proms, which was amazing, <laughs> at Royal Albert Hall, so that was um, really cool. Um, I had like a little tiny solo with this huge choir with Gareth again, shout out to Gareth, what a babe. So I'm singing, I'm still singing and I love it, and I can sing. It's not just like a year ago where I hadn't sung for ages and I didn't realise it and I would have been like, yeah, I can sing. Like, I've been working on my vocal agility and ability and my range and it's been getting better and that's good so yeah still singing in case any of you are wondering so i know that some people as well joined me on this channel from the bbc quiet show so still singing and then fitness love it as you know i'm doing whew, this morning's workout was hard that's why i just rolled my eyes but i'm doing um monday to friday live workouts every morning for November because I really just needed some discipline. I was struggling with just not having any discipline and it was super annoying. So I decided to make myself as accountable as possible and it's been working. I feel so much better. I feel so much more balanced in my emotions. I find that if I don't work out a lot, I can get quite groggy. And having been doing this for the last almost two weeks now, I just feel so much better. And today's workout was actually pretty hard. Um, so I'm really excited to see myself get stronger and fitter. And for all of you joining me on that, I'm so excited because I, I love, it's like my favorite thing, reading your comments, being like, telling me about the progress you've made. And I'm like, oh, I knew you could, I knew you could. I feel like I get more excited for other people than I do for myself sometimes. Um, so that's interesting. But yeah, I love, love hearing about people's progress. Because I think with fitness, it's so much more than just actual fitness. It's like, it's like your beliefs on who you are and what you're capable of. So when you achieve your fitness goals, it's like, oh, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm actually not even going to the gym right now. I'm just doing home workouts. So that's fun. Although I do, part of me does miss the social aspect of the gym, like having to leave the house, picking a nice outfit for people to see, that kind of jazz. So maybe I will rejoin the gym. But at the moment, um, I'm really enjoying home workouts. And then last but not least just general vibes you know my my current life season this was a terrible heading for a bullet point and and the recipe for me to just blab on and on I've literally put a heading life season <laughs> let me just read to you what I've written here on this video plan just want to in capital letters enjoy while working always chasing a goal but make the most, cook again, bake, exclamation mark, paint, exclamation mark. Now, I'm gonna try and not go on forever, but also I'm in my own house, you guys. I will go on forever as long as I want. This is quite literally the Sarah show. <laughs> like, don't know what you expected on this channel. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Sarah show. Oh my God, I make myself laugh so much. This is the issue. This is why <laughs> I think there is a danger to liking your own company, actually, you guys. Here's an aside. Scoot into the side. If you like your own company a certain amount and you enjoy your jokes, you leave the house less. You leave the house less. And then you really lean in with no one checking you. You lean into your own sense of humour. You lean in to what you deem as OK. And before you know it, you've lent outside of society's norms. I think I might be teetering. <laughs> anyway, just kidding. Back to, oh, sorry, that was probably loud in the mic. Back to life season. You'll probably see some of this in the vlog that I will edit. I will edit and get up of my little road trip with my bestie, Jo. Um, but I had been really feeling really down really frustrated that I hadn't been meeting my goals <laughs> um, in different areas of life. Just really like, like I was behind some imaginary race with time. Why do we race against time, you guys? It's so dumb. How can you race something that holds your feet? Time literally holds our feet. We're never going to win. We're ne Why are we racing it? We should just dance with it, flow with it. Anyway, last week I was racing against time, just feeling behind in every aspect of life. Met up with my beautiful friend Jo, who just encouraged me, lifted me, just, ah, oh, she's freaking amazing. Love her so much. Really said some encouraging things to me. 
And also just the act of like stepping out of the city and just walking through nature, walking um, through these beautiful gardens, then these lovely little quaint village roads and boutiques and stuff, and just not, not running against time, just dancing along with time just flowing with its rhythm oh just made me feel so happy and i was like dude i need to do this more i need to like enjoy life i yes i want to work towards goals and chase yes there are things that i want to achieve and do and accomplish and that takes a certain amount of discipline but within that i want to build into my life like a rhythm of joy and of like intentional joy so stuff like i keep saying i want to cook a dinner host a dinner why have I not cooked a dinner? You guys, I've done, this is probably one of my, the favorite kitchens I've ever had. I've done the least cooking I've ever done. And I think there's quite a few reasons for that. During the pandemic, again, for whatever reason, I just stopped cooking. I used to love cooking and I just stopped and I was like, God forbid. And it, it has taken me so long. Even now I have healthy ready meals ready to go in the fridge because I just haven't been cooking. But I enjoy cooking for friends. But yeah, I want to just, live my life and enjoy it like be really intentional for example i want to put up the christmas tree it is early november still oh actually it's mid-november it's mid-november i want to put up the christmas tree and i was like no don't put it why why can't i put up the christmas tree i love christmas i want to put up the christmas tree so i think i'm gonna put up the christmas tree oh my god should i put up the christmas tree but just doing fun things hosting dinners just leaning in to life and all the joy in it in every season I think, yeah, leaning in and finding the joy in each season and making time for it, not just like, for example, there's a big difference between procrastinating and watching a film on TV and watching a film on TV intentionally. So one of them is full of stress because like I should be doing something else. I wasn't supposed to be doing this. Oh, it's too late. I've missed my bedtime, blah, 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 blah. I'm scrolling on my phone at the same time. And there's just seen that and planning like Thursday night I'm gonna watch a movie the movie's gonna start at 6 30 p.m I've got some snacks with me the movie will be done by half nine I'll be in bed by 10 my phone will be in the other room so I won't be distracted because what I'm gonna do is intentionally watch a movie that's what I want to do more of right now in life is like intentionally enjoy just lean into it lean into it plan some fun so that made me cringe that actually made me cringe physically in my body i'm so sorry i don't know what that shimmy was lean into it. Lean into it. goodness me is that how like old age happens one day you do something you're like that where did that come from where did that come from anyway gosh that's a long video i'm so sorry i'm so sorry that was a really long one but thanks for chatting with me and for doing life with me. If I've got lipstick on my tooth, if I watch this back and I've got lipstick on my tooth, I wouldn't cry, but I'd just be like, I'd just be gutted. I don't think I do. Um, okay, I think that's it. If this chair looks comfy right now, it is. I don't actually sit in it very much. It's more of like the guest spot bonnie bonnie my bonsai my gorgeous one thank you for watching you guys i'm gonna say bye i love you so much um let me know what other videos you want to see in the comments of this video and i'll see you in my next video love you so much bye